um, to you. And then if there's time for questions at the end, then I'll jump back in. Okay, thank you, Chair. Thank you, Roberta. And for all the organizing committee, we are very happy to be here today. Uh, this study will be presented by myself. Uh, my name is Mohammed El Monem. I am a geneticist. I'm not a pediatrician. My professor, Dr. Nihal El Kufi, is the pediatric hepatologist, and she will continue with the presentation after me. And I am very happy to share this research with her. Today, we are going to talk about a new topical emollient mixture for pruritus in children with cholestatic liver disease. Dr. Nihal, can you shift, please? Yes. Okay, first of all, let me introduce you to Cairn University Pediatric Hospital. There are three major hospitals. Together, they host uh, about 800 beds uh, of, uh, for, pediatric, for pediatric patients, and they receive approximately 250,000 outpatient visits per year in a multitude of specialty clinics that work on a daily basis. These, of course, include the Pediatric Hepatology Clinic, which receives approximately 6,000 outpatient visits per year, and one third of those almost 2,000 are complaining of chronic cholestasis. Let me talk about our main problem today, pruritus. It's definitely an unpleasant and often debilitating condition that initiates the desire to scratch. It's a common complaint in children with cholestatic liver disease, particularly in allergic and progressive familial intrahepatic cholestasis or PEFIC. Prolonged pruritus can have a profound impact on the child's mental and physical well-being the main psychiatric sequelae being anxiety and depressive disorders, but in some cases can go much more severe, while physical sequelae span a large spectrum of skin deformity and mutilation. A wide variety of therapeutics have been used in the treatment of pruritus in patients with chronic cholestasis, including the bile salt resins, used deoxycholic acid, rifampicin, and opioid receptor antagonists, non-pharmacological management, such as the application of skin moisturizers, and avoidance of skin irritants, as well as warm bath, can also reduce the severity of pruritus in mild cases. However, in many, many children, they don't respond properly to either. Our main aim for this study is to try to assess the efficacy of a novel topical emollient mixture combining extra virgin coconut oil, vitamin A, and vitamin E in amelioration of the severity of pruritus after three months of use. This combination was based on previous personal experience and smaller pilot studies with individual components of the mixture in children with pruritus due to chronic cholestasis. And now I will let my professor, Dr. Nihal Kofi, to continue. Please go ahead. Thank you, Mohammed. Uh, I'll start uh, to complete uh, the methodology. Uh, the place where, where this study was carried out uh, uh, in is the Pediatric Hepatology Unit, New Children Hospital, Cairo University. We included uh, 51 children with cholestatic liver diseases of different etiologies, presenting with chronic pruritus and compliant with the known systemic antipruritic drugs. We excluded those patients with end-stage liver disease, any a personal or family history of atopic dermatitis, pruritus due to other systemic diseases. Every patient was subjected to full medical history, including the onset, the duration of the primary liver disease, the age at onset of pruritus, and the medications used to treat it. The history of using sharp objects to scratch and the impact of itching on their social and learning achievements were also taken. Systemic therapy for pruritus was not altered two months before starting the topical therapy and was, was maintained along. Uh, our, a colleague dermatologist uh, uh, assessed the following by thorough clinical examination for each patient, particularly skin manifestations for signs of itching such as excoriation marks, lichenification, prurigo lesions, skin hyperpigmentation, hair and nail changes. In addition, we assessed the severity of pruritus for each patient using two scores, the 5D and the 12 item pruritus severity scale. This was carried out at baseline 
at uh, uh, the inclusion of the patients and three months after starting the topical therapy. This is a 5D score, which uh, depends on the duration, asking about duration, the degree, the direction and uh, disability, and finally the distribution of itching. The 12 item uh, provide a severity scale, including 12 items which should be answered by yes or no, and each one take a point or zero according to if it is yes or no. Laboratory assessment of the liver function tests, uh, amino transferases, albumin, bilirubin, gamma glutamide transferase, alkaline phosphatase, and coagulation profiles all are uh, take topical treatment. The topical treatment prepared for this study by adding 10 squeezed commercial capsules of vitamin E, vitamin E combination to the 250 milliliter of extra virgin coconut oil. The final concentration is 200,000 international units of vitamin E and 1,600 international unit of vitamin E to each 100 ml of coconut oil. Why this cocktail? Coconut oil first is a good emollient that may have broad spectrum activity against bacteria, especially staph, viruses, and fungi. Vitamin E is necessary to maintain the integrity and the differentiation of epithelia of the skin and adnexa. It contributes to the production of sebum, uh, the oil that help to maintain levels of moisture in the skin and hair. In addition, vitamin E was also added to confirm it is photoprotective, has a photoprotective activity against erythema, edema, and sun burn cell. Both vitamin E and vitamin E are antioxidants as well. So why this cocktail? How to apply? We counseled the caregivers and instructed to apply this topical treatment daily before sleep after taking a warm bath. Application of the mixture was advised to be with the hairline to avoid any irritation of the skin. They are they were advised as well by cutting the patient's nails to prevent them from scratching the lesions and to have the patient wear cotton clothes instead of any other fabrics to avoid any irritation. In addition, they were counseled on the proper dosage of the prescribed systemic drugs. The follow-up monthly consultation during their outpatient visits were done. In addition, we make weekly phone calls to monitor their progress and overcome any obstacles. These are the results. This is one of the patients show the dryness and the skin lichenification and the nail changes of the hands of those who have severe bruits. And this is a young patient, by the way, around one year old. This is the post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation of uh, the back of uh, uh, one of uh, 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 the included patients who used to use sharp objects uh, to scratch. And this uh, uh, young infant who uh, showed loss of hair with the severe pruritus, uh, uh, chronic pruritus uh, of his condition. Uh, this is as well a photo of one of our patients shows the scars of uh, the severe pruritus here in the hands of this one of the patients and the dry, thick skin, which uh, used to see in such patients. As I mentioned, it included 51 children with polystatic liver diseases of various etiologies, 21 males and 30 females. Their age range from one to 10 years, more than 60% were born to consanguineous parents. 39% had cholestasis with normal gamma GT, which could be due to progressive family and traumatic cholestasis. That's because they have the phenotypic features, but we didn't do molecular genetic because it is expensive. 
more than 60% of our patients had cholestasis with high gamma GT, including 11 children with probability of uh, PIVIC type 3, seven with allergic syndrome, three had failed CASI operation for extra hepatic pediatrigia, and two patients with atheric proposes uh, renal dysfunction cholestasis ARC syndrome. Jaundice was the main feature, clinical finding, in addition to hepatomegaly, jaundice is the main general feature. Hepatomegaly is present in 92%, the main local abdominal feature in the included patients. Dermatological assessment showed that there are scratch marks in more than 80% of our cases. It may involve the upper limb only, the lower limb only, or uh, both and the genitalia. The genitalia is affected in around 41%. Excoriation was present in 90%, lichenification in 43%, prorigo lesions in around one third of our included patients. We compared between patients with cholestasis and normal gamma GT, which is supposed to be PIFIC 1 or 2, and those with high gamma GT. Uh, gamma glutamyl transpeptidase as regard the 5D and the 12 pruritus severity score. We found that the severity is more in those with cholestasis and normal gamma GT. And this is significant where the p-value is less than 0.05 in both scores. In addition, we uh, compare that uh, the both 5D score and the 12 priority severity score initially and at follow-up. There is improvement at follow-up. However, significantly shown in the 12 priority severity score, where the severe, severe cases declined from 20 cases initially to 11 only at follow-up. On follow-up, this is one of our patients who used to have a, a uh, severe pruritus and uh, 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 the loss of hair is seen. This is before and after three months, the hair started and this only uh, seen in two patients of uh, our included patients that uh, the uh, uh, topical treatment improved the uh, alopecia in them. Our topical therapy as well improved the cirrhosis, which is present in 100% of patients which uh, was reflected in the decreased desire to scratch after moisturizing the skin. We concluded from this that topical therapies have a role in the treatment of severe and refractory cholestatic pruritus in children. This uh, coconut oil mixture with vitamin A and E uh, described in our pilot study may have some added therapeutic benefits for pruritus in children with cholestatic liver diseases. Hypothetically, it may aid systemic drugs to achieve optimal response before shifting to other therapeutic modalities, like for example, going for surgical biliary diversion. Finally, this, uh, this uh, research have been uh, uh, published in the Indian Journal of pediatrics, and I thank all my colleagues who shared me uh, this research, and uh, thank you very much for giving us this opportunity to share in this meeting. Thank you. Thank you so much to you both. Um, I know we are running short on time, but I'm, there are questions that are coming in. Um, if we can, um, I can work with you both uh, after uh, to talk through some questions and then maybe we can meet again in the main lounge sometime throughout the next um, two days to have an open discussion if, uh, if that works with your time. Thank you. I uh, wanna thank you both so, so very much. Um, and you, we will sir. make this information available um, to everyone. And again, go ahead and send me your questions and we will um, follow up. Uh, via thank email you, Jay. In the thank lounge. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you so right. much. Thank okay. you so Bye. much, Dr. Kofi. Thank you Bye. very much.